are here with Adam Hari uh, from uh, Australia here at Battle Mountain uh, to ride the Wahoo. So you may not know what I just said. So let's start with uh, saying hello to Adam. How are you? Yeah, very good, thanks. It's great to have you on the Laidback Bark Report. So Adam, uh, the Wahoo is here in America. It's a streamliner that was built by Larry Lem and you live in Australia. Give us the connection. How did this all come together? Uh, well, originally Larry had a junior rider that he was going to ride um, in one of his old bikes, um, but that sort of fell through about six weeks ago. So he gave me the call up and I jumped at the opportunity. So I, I bought a ticket straight away and started planning on how I was going to get over here and you know planned, a tra planned out a training schedule. So let's uh, perhaps fill in some background for folks who don't know. Adam, uh, you actually work on building bikes for racing here at Battle Mountain yourself. Tell us about uh, a, bit, a little bit of your history doing that. Yeah, so I, I originally came in 2015 where I was just a spectator just to learn what the sport was all about and then over the course of a couple of years you know built a few training bikes and understood what a recumbent was and how to ride it and stuff and then in 2019 i bought a second hand bike and um came bought it as oversized luggage on the plane um and raced it then and got a 55 mile per hour hat which is i'm pretty stoked on i wear it everywhere and um since then, I've been building my own streamliner, which I hope to one day bring to Battle Mountain, and I've built it to the highest standard that I can possibly do, um, just so I know that it's going to do the absolute best speed that I can possibly do myself. So for now, I just want to get as much experience as I can riding down to 305, experiencing what it's like to ride at 50, 60 miles per hour, um, get that experience so when I come back, I'm ready to go. Right. All right. So that brings us to Battle Mountain this week. And uh, here we are about midweek. Can you tell us your experience so far? What have you done? And are you happy with what you've done? I'm happy with how it's going. It's like my um, learning curve has been steep, but my progression in skills has also matched that curve. So we, we did a few training runs before the event even started, just at a training track outside town. And um, after a few goes, tipped it a few times, but eventually started progressing with our, our starts. And this morning I started within a couple of steps, which is what you want to be doing every single run. In terms of speed, I've slowly been progressing as well. The um, qualifying round I did 45-ish, and then the uh, first five mile I did about 55, 56, and then the other day I did 60.05 with the Kevlar and slow tires. So I'm hoping once I take that off, I can go faster than the Australian record, which is 73, I think. Excellent. All right, well, I saw you finish today uh, on that run and you had some interesting, you had an interesting story to tell about the, the run today in terms of uh, uh, what your, your legs kind of hitting up against the steering and that sort of thing. Tell us, it's a tight fit. Tell us how, yeah. tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so because it's not built specifically for me, my bike, I've molded the seat to my body and everything is like millimetre precision, but being another person's bike, you kind of have to try and fit within the parameters that they've built it for and they try and build it for multiple people. And my leg length and torso length is a li little bit different to what Larry's is, who he sort of built it around. So um, some of the things have a little bit tight clearance and my knee was hitting a handlebar and causing me to steer a little bit every time I pedaled, which is a bit scary, but. <laughs> yeah, especially at those speeds. So yeah. uh, that's, that's great. So, well, it sounds like you're progressing. You have high hopes for this week. Ultimately, what would you hope to achieve uh, by the end of the week? Uh, I would like the Australian record. 80 is very optimistic. Um, I don't think I'll be getting to 80, but I just want to go as fast as I can. I know that I can put out power, and based on my power profiles, um, it's it's getting me up around the Australian record. So if I could get the Australian record, get a 70 mile per hour hat, I would be absolutely overwhelmed. I'd be stoked with that. Yeah, we would also be excited to see that happen. Uh, just briefly, you talked about the power rating. What, what kind of power are you putting out? Uh, 
lead up, I'm aiming for around 220, 200 watts. And then with one and a half miles, about two miles out, I start to ramp to 300. And then from one and a half, I'm trying to do minimum 400 watts to, the other day I maxed out at 523, I think. So if I can hit 523 and sustain it for like, a couple of seconds, maybe 10 seconds, that's when the, the speed really spikes. And um, you don't want to maintain 60 miles per hour for too long because you want to, you peak and then just go through the traps and then slow down. <laughs> it's much more complicated than people really understand. And it's so much about timing and pacing yourself and such. So yeah, it's very complicated. So, all right. Uh, any final thoughts, Adam? Anything else you want to share? Um, I, originally I did plan on running morning and night every single day, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm, I'm scheduled to ride the first and second heat. I've put my name down for it, but I'm probably going to scratch both of those, um, and save myself for tomorrow's morning conditions, which is supposed to be perfect. So currently Larry's working on the bike. We're going to polish the fairing and get it absolutely slick as possible. Adam, Hari, thank you so much for spending a little right, time with us. Sir. Okay. Thanks, pal.